in Jesus' name. We focused on that last week about the name of Jesus and how that there is power in it. And I'm telling you right now that the devil is not happy that you are here tonight. And, and within the steps that you are growing in your spiritual walk, as you've been coming here, as you've been growing in your own personal uh, devotion time and, and prayer time and Bible reading times and all the things, or maybe that you're just starting those things. And I'm letting you know there's a handful of in, in there uh, that are in here right now that I know are growing at an exponential rate. And everyone that uh, that is coming to the Lord right now in this season, he's he's moving at a supernatural pace because he is equipping people for what is coming, and, and and he needs to get us ready. So things that would have taken years in the spirit, he's doing in short amounts of time, and he's raising people up who are just hungry and eager to learn about him and wanting to connect to him. So I want you to know that there are spirits that are meeting about you because they're so worried about the actual growth that's happening in your life. Because you actually have spirits that are assigned to you uh, from birth that want to, the devil wants to make sure that they go and they torture you and the, and the, and the things that, that used to work on you are no longer working because you've been set free from the Holy, with the Holy Spirit. So the same addictions, the same uh, obsessions that you had, the same uh, spirit of worry or anxiety that used to crush you is no longer working. And now they're frustrated and they're not sure what to do. And they're saying, now people are starting to notice that your life is changing and that you're different in your life. And, and there's no denying that you're different from where you were six months ago, a year ago, three years ago, or maybe even a month ago, because God is supernaturally working in your life, growing you and taking you to the next level. And what I want to tell you is, is that you just keep standing on the name of Jesus. And if you keep standing on the name of Jesus, there is nothing, no matter how many demons are meeting, no matter how powerful they think they are in the spirit, if you are standing on the name of Jesus, you trump them every single time. So you don't need to be a worried or afraid about things coming at you and trying to plan to take you out. Because if you are standing on the name of Jesus, that there will be no denying that God's power will continue to work through you in your life. Amen. Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes to listen to you or to him? You be the judges. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Now, I know as you read this story, it seems a lot of times it's like, oh, well, that's what happened back then and all this stuff. I'm telling you that we are so close to where this is actually where we're at right now, that they're going to come against people speaking in the name of Jesus. Already, it's happening around the world. I don't know if you know about the World Economic Forum. They're a very wicked organization of the most high, powerful people across the world. And they had a meeting, I believe it was about a few weeks ago. And in their thing, they had three things that they were targeting, three groups of people. Three, uh, if you did one of these three things, the first thing is if you spoke in tongues. Why in the world would the World Economic Forum be talking and having meetings about with the most powerful people in the world that we have to stop people who are speaking in tongues unless there is actual power in it? So all these people that are talking about how, oh, that's not really true. They're just speaking gibberish and all that. No, because we know that the, the, the most powerful people in the world are being manipulated by principalities. And if the most powerful people in the world want to call a meeting and sit everybody down and say one of these three things and speaking in tongues is one of the top main things, you better pe be speaking in your prayer language. That's what I'm telling you right now. You better be. You speak that language to yourself. You build yourself up in the spirit. You speak mysteries into the spirit. The Holy Spirit fights for you. It comes against principalities. It comes against demonic spirits. It strengthens you. I'm telling you, there's a reason that the most powerful people that they think in the world are terrified of it. The second group that they want to go against is healing evangelists. What? Okay, so are we seeing a correlation? Are we seeing the thing? The things that they're afraid of most is people who actually work in the Spirit. People who are actually led by the Holy Spirit. Ones who actually believe that the Holy Spirit is still moving. The 
Holy Spirit is still uh, performing miracles. Those are the type of people that make the most powerful people in the world very nervous, very scared. So I want to tell you, the most powerful people in the world are scared of this room. The people in this room, the ones sitting in these chairs, because we know the Spirit is real. We know the Holy Spirit is moving. We know that the Holy Spirit is still healing people and raising people up. We saw the Holy Spirit literally knock people out of their chair last week because the Holy Spirit is moving. So I love you, Sarah. The Holy Spirit was moving. And she knows she's like my little sister. It was, it was amazing to see the fire fall on that young lady. Why? Because God has a plan for her life. Has a plan for her life. Is raising her up. You know how many times in, the, in a meeting I fell on the ground, so I, I'm just, I'm confirming that's, that's God moving in a powerful way. You can't tell nobody up in here that the Holy Spirit is not alive and well and moving and changing lives. And the people who are up in the highest places are terrified of that. Why? Because you can't be controlled or manipulated. And fear can't control you because you know the truth. And we know that anything that comes at us with fear isn't coming from the Lord because the Lord doesn't give us a spirit of fear. So when the world most powerful people and the people in the media and all the politicians are trying to shove fear down your throat, it does not faze me. Why? Because I'm afraid of no man. I follow what the Holy Spirit leads me. So you can say whatever disease is coming, whatever economic thing is coming, whatever war is coming, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on the name of Jesus and watch hell break loose all around me and understand there ain't nothing touching me because I'm walking in the spirit, being led in the spirit, speaking in tongues and healing people in Jesus' name, and there ain't nothing Bill Gates can do to stop me from doing it. That is what is happening right now is that, that why God is bringing and he's waking people up, right? So that's why it's so important right now that we get rooted in the word of God so that when, when this persecution comes, and if you read the Bible, we know that it's coming. So we know that it's coming, but we're not afraid. We have to actually be aware. It's not just coming to these services. That's not going to be enough for you when all hell breaks loose. You have to be able to stand on the word of God by yourself. You have to have your own personal revelations from the Lord yourself. You have to get your own direction from the Lord yourself, and he will give them to you. Every single person in here, we are all on the same level. We are all loved by the Father the exact same amount. He loves us all the same. The key thing is, how often are you listening? How many directions are we actually taking? Are we really implementing everything that he's teaching us throughout the day? Because if we're going on our own knowledge, our own will, our own direction, we're going to end up getting slipped up, falling off, and then that's when dangerous things can happen. And I love you too much not to tell you the truth, to tell you that you got to go home tonight and you got to allow the Lord to speak to you yourself. This is what this is. This is the warm-up for what God wants to do for you in your own quiet place tonight. This is not the whole end all say all thing. And we see fire drop here and it's powerful and I love it and praise the Lord for it. But what I'm telling you, the key is your private time. Not a church service. And I love church services. I'll go to every revival I can and I'll go to every ministry event I can because I always want to be in the presence of God. But I'm telling you, the reason that I'm able to preach like this, the way, the reason I have such a fire is not because I go to church services all the time. It's because I go and I lock myself in my office and I get on my face and I turn on some worship music and I just sit there in the presence of the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm learning now more. To prepare, to prepare for services is a lot more. Yes, I read the scriptures and I pray over them. But it's a lot more of me just sitting in his presence and waiting and allow his glory to wash over me. That is how I get more prepared for a service than reading the scriptures over and over and 